Welcome to the first Patch Hand writing vlog. I'm going to give you writing tips, I'm going to walk you through my process, and I'm going to kind of detail what I do on my journey to get published. I'm working on a couple of projects right now, first of which, and most important, is my novel rewrite. I'll explain that in a bit. Two is uh, I'm working on some comic pitches and treatments. I'm going to hand in some of that stuff, um, just scripts and ideas to some professionals at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, which is in two weeks. Three, I am working on a play for my friends Tanya and Clinton. Four, do my four fingers fit there? And four, there are the four fingers. And four, I am doing some short film screenplays and uh, editing a lot of short films and a future film right now, so my time not spent writing is spent doing that. My intent is to write every day and to vlog every day. Time for writing tip number one. Be ballsy. Be inappropriately ballsy to everyone you ever meet as far as your writing goes. A while ago, a lady comes into the bookstore that I work at, and I'm talking to her, and as we're talking, she lets it slip that she is a literary agent for young adult literature and fantasy. And in my head, I'm like, ooh, I'm a writer for young adult literature and fantasy. And um, I take her name and email down for our frequent buyer program, so when she comes back to the store, we can give her discounts and stuff. But then I'm at my house, and I remember the email address. I'm thinking how inappropriate it would be to email her at that email address soliciting my work. So I email her at that email address soliciting my work. And in some cases, that could lead to some very bad things, such as being told off, being flipped the bird via the internet. You know, you could do the whole M line, M thing, that's flipping the bird online. And you can even get a mean, angry face back. But I didn't get that. I got a, I'm interested, I remember you, here's my actual email address, so from now on, do that, but send me your stuff. So I sent her my first 30 pages of my novel Lefty, and she liked it a lot. And then she asked for the entire thing, and I sent it, and she liked it a lot. And that's what I'm working on now. She sent me eight pages of notes back to work on Lefty. So I'm working on those eight pages of notes right now. Um, I've gotten a lot of work done. And here's the thing. I wouldn't have written a word more if I didn't feel that her notes were fucking great. The notes are awesome and they make so much sense for the characters in the story arc. So that's just an example. That's an awesome thing that's happening to me right now that I got because of being ballsy. Everything great that's happened to me as far as writing goes has been because I have no self-control. So that's my advice to you. Have less self-control. Magazines and books will tell you that you have to abide by these certain rules, and that's true to an extent, but also be ballsy too. Just like show that you're different, have a pair, and put yourself out there. Just if you don't put yourself out there, then nobody will, because people don't come looking. You have to show yourself and sell yourself, and being that guy who takes the extra step kind of shows that you're awesome. So a bit of a summary of my work today. I worked on Lefty. I wrote about two chapters. I'm going to write more and edit what I have already. A lot of this stuff is just adding more time to the arc of the story. So, so it's fun to dive back into this world again. But a lot of it is just honing what I already have, too. I'm at chapter 40 right now, and I want to get to chapter 46. I aim to be done in about two or three weeks, so... I want to do a lot more work today. I also want to read more too. I'm reading this great book called uh, Juliet Naked by Nick Hornby and I want to just like get immersed in that book. But also um, I want to make some headway on both my comic pitches and the play today. What you're going to hear about next is my self challenge and also some punishment things. I have a lot of friends who also write so what I'm going to do is this. I am going to randomly select a friend to punish me when I don't write. And these are the possible candidates. My girlfriend, Erica Krilov, who um, is the best writer I know, and I'm not biased at all. Well, I, I am biased, but she is still the best writer I know. My screenwriting partner, Steven Wisnowski. That actually is how he looks in person. Playwright, published playwright, Dennis A. Allen II. Focus on that. Look at that dapper facial hair. Playwright J. Julian Christopher. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Also some pretty dapper facial hair going on there. Professor and um, editor of the upcoming Beheaded collection. 
Professor Dr. Jeffrey Massey, owner of Tenure and a White Beard, and maker of Amish Friendship Bread. Amish Friendship Bread is awesome. Caitlin Abbott, fellow nerd fighter and also NaNoWriMo attempter this year. Tanya Everett, her hair isn't actually white with black streaks. It's all black, but I was lazy. She's a writer too of short stories. Writer Scott Tipton. Writer Bill Williams, whom I interview with is coming out today. And screenwriter of the upcoming movie Hop and this book, Brian Lynch. Now, I know what you're thinking. Scott Tipton, Bill Williams, and Brian Lynch are not books. They're people. Why don't they have little drawings made? Well, again, because I'm lazy and I'm spending my time writing, not drawing little figures. Well, not drawing more figures than these. So yeah, should I ever miss a writing day, any of those writers get to lay the punishment down on me? Um, I'll just pick randomly, like, I don't know how I'll do it. I'll make a wheel. I'll make a wheel of writers, and I'll spin the wheel, and whoever lands on, I'll contact them and they'll punish me. With a punishment that hopefully isn't too mean.